Okay guys, so we are ready to go here. We got our video pulled up on the tablet with all of our wonderful 63 comments. Now obviously, um, half of those comments are me replying to you, um, so it seems like it'll be about 30 comments. 30 people who have the option to win um, and get the wonderful giveaway. It's been a while since I've been on the tablet. That's why I'm not subscribed <laughs> technically um, on the channel. So this is just on YouTube. So we're going to hit share, copy link, and we're going to double tap. Go to our web secure that has our YouTube random comment picker. So before I copy and paste and do the da 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 da. So I got a couple goodies here. There is some fabric and some paper goodies here. A little box of surprises and this wonderful signature that I know a lot of people are really excited to get their hands on because it is a replica signature similar to my Paris journal that I love very much. There is also a little envelope here, a pencil envelope that is filled with goodies from a lot of my previous videos. And these wonderful lovelies that uh, I told you guys I had a surprise for you. So Parku contacted me and they wanted me to feature their pens. So I, when I found out what kind of pens they were, I really, really wanted to try them. So no joke, they supposedly, they're erasable gel pens. So... Um, we're going to try them out real quick, and this is a purple one. So I got a pad of paper over here, and we're just going to try them out. Okay, I wasn't too, you know too crazy on the whole make it perfect but it looks really nice they write really really smooth I really really love them so far that's not officially why I wanted to try these out so and it's blurry right now so they write really nice I really really like them so supposedly they're erasable so they have this little tip on them that uh, makes it able and it's not really focusing sorry about that I can't get it to focus anyway it has this little tip on it that makes it able to erase and I've been wanting to to really really try it and it says it uses like some sort of fiction friction to erase so let's try it and see how well it works um, we'll try the heart oh Wow, I'm I'm a little surprised. Not gonna lie. That works really well. No ink to speak of. I mean, even when you even when you turn it, I mean, you could still see like the indent that the pen made in the page. But for the most part, it, I mean, it works great. It takes a second, but that's not even like why I was so interested in these. I actually have to pick up the camera and take it into the kitchen to show you like the full extent of how cool these pens are supposed, uh, are supposed to be. So, um, I haven't tried it yet cause I've been waiting to try it with you guys on here with me. So you guys will get to see the legitimate shock and awe of these pens. And you know what? Before we do, let's do a couple of quick color swatches here. So I'm just going to take the pens here. Take all the lids off of them. Alright, I'm going to hold them like this. And try and get like one good swipe with all the colors. 
All right. Oh, I love the green one. I'm keeping the green one, guys. You're you're out of luck. The green one's mine. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put all the lids back on these. And these are the erasable gel, like the, the little bit more fancy looking ones. There are the clicker gel pens too. Oh, let's see how these are. Uh, let's do, I know a lot of people like pink. I'm not a pink fan, but I know a lot of other people are. So let's see. Um, it's supposed to click. Oh, okay. It's one of, it's where the, uh, this piece is your clicker. All right. Now let's see. I, I really like having the clicker as the end though. Um, I think that'd be really cool and a little bit more convenient because I'll, I'll be working, writing really quickly and I'll just go like this to make my pen go away. See, I'm trying to do it now. So, um, let's draw. Oh, it's got dab on the end of the pen. So, you know, it's a little bit more, um, expensive pen when it has like that little glue dab. Ooh, it writes really nice and it's got like that shiny gel look. Oh, uh, we're going to do another heart. Ooh, I like it. Uh, maybe a little flower. I'm sorry, I'm having so much fun with these pens. I love to write. And obviously, you know, if you got a good journal going on, which makes me think, um, you know, I wonder how these pens would do on my dyed paper. Okay, so I just did a batch the other day, and these are some of, like, the residual so I want to see, cause, um, I remember trying some cheaper inks. Ooh, yeah, that works really good on some of my dyed pages and the ink bled and it was with a, uh, calligraphy pen. So I wasn't too happy with those inks. I had to go get different inks, but they look, and I wonder if it'll erase too. I don't really want to do it on there. Oh, Wow. And it doesn't even cause any issues with the ink, like the current ink that I use. Obviously, you know, this is coffee staining, but it's not, you know, destroying the paper like a traditional penny racer would. It's not making the, um, it's not making the paper peel or any of that. It's just, it looks so nice. And you can't even tell, like, in some, I haven't really rubbed on it too hard. But on a lot of the spots, I mean, you can't even tell that the ink was there. So I'm, I'm no joke. I'm, a, I am a little impressed. So let's go test it out. We're gonna take this off, and you know that this is the original that I did. It's all wonky, hard to mimic that. I want to go show that to you real quick. So you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. You know, is this a little science experiment? What's going on? Well, it kind of is. So you get a little bit of science going on today. So this ice pack has been in my freezer since last night. And we're going to go ahead and set it here. So I'll be far enough. And we're going to light our stove. So you can see there's a good flame going there. And I can't remember. I, okay, so this one. Um, You know what? We're going to wait for this. I'm going to turn that off real quick. But supposedly... Oh my, wow. Oh, that is so cool. It's coming back. How about this one? Press it into the cold really good. Dude. That is so cool. So it doesn't look like the original color. You can kind of tell there. So it did, like right here you can tell it doesn't quite look like the original color. Um, if you put it in the freezer longer, and I'll try that out today. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, I'll, I'll answer your questions in the comment. But just by putting it on the ice pack, you know, it came back. I mean, it came back perfectly. It's not as dark, but it did what it said it was supposed to. All right, now let's try this one. 
All right, supposedly, oh my, whoa, dude. You don't even know right now. That is so neat. Okay, we're gonna set it on the ice here, turn that off, and just rub it on the ice, get it nice and cold, see if it'll come back. That is, whoa. Now in some spots, I mean, if you reflect the light on it, you can tell that there's like indentations again in the paper. But the ink, I mean, you can tell it's still there. Dude. You can write yourself some secret messages. Okay, I'm going to get an ice another one of my ice packs or icy somethings. Let's see. Welcome to my freezer, guys, by the way. Let's uh let's try these. These are really good, by the way. No, not advertising for them. Oh, look. The flower came back. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of give it some more cold. Oh my! Look at that! Oh, the blue came back perfect. And so did well. Those are the green came back really well. Oh, I'm I'm not kidding. These are gonna be so fun to play with. Okay, now before I go too crazy, I'm going to put my fruit smoothies back into the freezer and now we are going to officially announce our giveaway i'm sorry to those of you who you know didn't want to see some pens and were just like get to the giveaway already but i i honestly thought this was so cool and really really fun um I, let me put away my ice pack i will need that later Hi, Fluffy. Hi, Lexi. They're munching. So, all right. We're going to get this ice pack in here and go back into the office. Yeah, it's, it's a little messy right now. So, all right. So, back in the saddle. Um, now, hopefully you're not like halfway through the video or something. And just barely tuning in. I'm hoping you get to see the whole video. But that is so cool. Um, oh yeah, this isn't live. <laughs> At a moment. Alright, let's go back. Now remember, we had that saved. So let's go to... Right here. We'll click on it. And we're going to push. I don't think it wants to work right now. Why are you being a turd? Okay, there's the clipboard. Oh. Perfect, it pasted it. So, we're going to hit search. So, amount of unique comments, 24. Okay, so, maybe not quite up to 30, but we do, we have 24 comments right there. So, alrighty, you guys ready? You ready for this? I'm going to, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to pick up the tablet so you guys can just see what's going on here. And we're going to, okay. Got it. Now, who's ready? Just do it already. I know I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Start. Ooh. <gasps> Karina Dehan. I hope I pronounced that right. Karina Dehan. Um, I feel like that's going to be an international with the way the name is. Um, I am so excited for you. Oh, I'm so excited. So you get all of these wonderful goodies here before you. There's one or two other goodies that I am also still working on. Um, I was going to try and have it in the mail by the end of the day, but um, I don't know whether or not you're going to contact me in time. And obviously I still have to go back to work. So, but before I go, these wonderful pens that we just showed off. A couple of these will also be in the giveaway. So, uh, wonderful Karina, you will be getting some of these really awesome pens. Um, I think they're awesome. I honestly will probably buy a few there. I went and I looked them up and I looked at the video. Um, the one thing that disappointed me is I don't think they're officially made in the U.S. Uh, with the way all the advertisement promo went with them. Uh, so if you are a big fan of Made in the U.S., and I know I am, 
um, that may not make you too happy. But uh, with as cool as they are and how much fun I had with them, I think I would still buy them. And they're they're very reasonably priced for a really good set of pens. I think like this one was 14 and I think this one was like 11 or something like that. So uh, really neat, neat pens. And again, I will be throwing a couple of them into the giveaway. Who knows? I might save a few for the next giveaway or just purchase a few to put in the next giveaway because no joke, these are these are pretty nifty. So um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Congratulations, Miss Han. And I was excited to have you guys here for my 500 subby giveaway. I'm so blessed by you guys. You're all just super amazing. You make my day every single day just by commenting and reading all of your lovelies and all of that other stuff on there and on Instagram. I get a lot of followers on Instagram too and a lot of gracious, loving comments. I mean, it, no joke, the man upstairs has really blessed me with you guys, and uh, I don't mean to offend anyone who has any different religious preferences. Um, I do have my own. I am a firm believer, and I am a firm Christian, but I do respect and appreciate other people's beliefs. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and please join me again soon for some wonderful crafty goodness. Um, I did say I was going to try and throw up a miniature tutorial. It will not happen today because um, my nail files that I use, they're washable and I can get them from Sally Hansen usually. Um, when I do my gel nails, they worked perfect for this little kit. So if you want to run, or this little idea. So if you want to run down maybe and grab one, especially if you already have a, like a membership or something going on there. You can get them for like 84 cents, I think. They're dirt cheap. They're nice, big, huge, like square textile type emery boards. Um, you could also use um, oh, sandpaper. Um, I know I have some sandpaper, but I really like using the emery board because they're not really pliable. So it makes them easier to work with. Um, and then I will see you next time, hopefully for the wonderful... Uh, tutorial and a bunch of other goodies I got coming out. Thank you so much. Check these out. They're pretty awesome. Bye!